boys to be girls who do boys like they're girls who do girls like they're boys. Oh, should... That's it, I think. Let's get anyway, right hello. into a dry race. Yay! Me singing Blur better be in the fucking short version of this race. It did make it into the video, and hello everybody, and welcome to another League Racing video. It's getting a bit rinse and repeat with these, but I do promise that this sort of content will slowly uh, start to evaporate, and you can continue to make suggestions on what you might want to see on this channel. But it's JASL for the Italian Grand Prix. It's round 6 of 10 this season, and after a P2 in Canada, we come into this race third in the championship, 19 behind uh, our next nearest uh, competitor in Davula. Pluto 69 points ahead of us, so we're not worrying about the championship. We're just here to have a good time. First lap down then, and it's nothing too spectacular. A 19.3, which at the moment is enough to see us go quickest, but give it a moment, and Pluto pips us by a couple of hundredths. Shaping up for another lap here then, and just look at the time I've gained. Coming out of turn two, almost two tenths up, actually exceeding two tenths up by the end of the first sector into the Della Roger chicane then, and we pick up a little bit of gravel on the exit. Still a tenth and a half up here after a pretty uh, good start to the lap. Lesmo 2 coming up now, down two gears to fifth, having a bit of a slide on the exit, but still actually managing to find some time as we descend down the hill with the next sequence of corners being uh, Ascari, of course, but too much inside kerb, and that's the lap over. Still no change, really, to the order okay. then, and it is time to commence on our final runs. Look at the bottom right here. Turn your attention oh, to the ERS now, deployment. Hello, you need to deploy oh, it. Deploy it. Yeah. I've still not realised that I need to deploy the ERS. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then I realise, and then I need to deploy the ERS, and we're two tenths down. But look at that first corner, well, the first chicane exit, I should say, finding over a tenth. So that's a three and a half tenth gain coming out of the first chicane. And I forgot to put the ERS on. So I know that even a small improvement here could get me pole. Pratt. That mistake could cost me. Pluto's been impeded, as you can hear in the Xbox party, as he said, Pratt there. I've gone wide at Lesmo 2, then picked up some oh. understeer. There's a car hanging on the edge of the circuit there. Had to take avoiding action somewhat to uh, avoid that car. Into Ascari we go then. We invalidated last time. We've actually lost a little bit more time, picking up in the second part of the corner. And now it's a straight dash to try and gain as much time as possible into the Parabolica. Now, of course, the Kerber Alboreto. Where do we break? Just after the 50-meter board there on the left-hand side. Then we pull it to the inside. We've found time. Is it going to be enough for pole position as we come up to the line? 5,000 to be Congratulations on by. the pole. I hope it makes you very happy. I couldn't get a lap in because Pluto. you ended up a fucking LV. Pluto. LV. What? I forgot to put my ERS on at yeah. the start of the lap. Well, I can guarantee you didn't lose down. as much time as me. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no, that guy, that guy thinks I did the whole lap with no ERS. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Three thousandths we secured pole by and it's time for lights out here in Monza from pole position ahead of the championship leader Pluto. On come the lights now, all five on ahead of us. And they're out, so we're underway very quickly indeed with a really good launch, actually. Bit of wheel spin in second gear, but we get on the ERS just to preserve our lead going into the first corner. We're actually going to sit in the middle of the track here as Pluto looks to go down the inside. I break really late to get up onto that Ooh, sausage curb on the tagged, inside, possibly I'm causing some tagged. issues I'm behind. Halfway through lap one, there's nothing oh, no, much no, more no, no. to report. Goggles oh, in the barrier, as you can hear in the party, and that's our first VSC. This is long. Yeah, isn't that's it? what she said. Uh, that's on stream now. 
Thank you, Goggle. We're back onto green flags now, and it's the end of lap two. Again, still in the lead. Pluto just three tenths behind into Curve Alberto. Oh, no! Oh, the yeah, back man, end really is kicked out. I've touched hell. the grass you there. That was entertaining. Here we go, then. What We've shit. paid the price for the mistake nearly as Pluto comes down the Didn't inside the at the way. first corner. We got away with that. We very much got away with that. Lap three. Surely... We didn't do what the same the thing again. Yeah, we did. We definitely did. This time we actually I'm spun. I was beached once. I was beached twice. I'm fucking beached. No way. I, I can't believe I did the same thing two laps in a row. And to make matters worse, we're going to be out the points in just a second. Right, as Jack Porn, Hearn, <sighs> sorry. What the fuck are you doing? Taking me. Derp Joe didn't know the meaning of, uh, you know, sticking in a straight line down a straight. So I'm getting very angry here. That won't be the last you see. Already gaining up to the back of Jack Pem. It's uh, Jack Pem, not Jack Bourne, which uh, I perhaps should have looked at that beforehand. Loads of inside curb there, but we crucially are <laughs> back in front. I say crucially, there's nine seconds to the next car. Oh, it's going to be on the Yep, uh, he re-overtakes us. He's more than within his rights to do that with, of course, DRS and him simply being about 15 miles an hour quicker down that back straight. But I tried to show him the inside. He chose That's the outside shame. and almost caused a collision. Here we go then to the inside at the final corner. I think I've got DRS there by sticking behind at the DRS detection point. But then... Come on to the start finish straight. I don't have it. He's what got it. I was fucking behind him. Oh, piss off. You don't have to go for it every time. Okay, the safety car is out. Safety car well, is out. Oh, that's well, nice. That's guy ping. That relieves my frustration for a bit. And we're back in the pack. That's good. These guys going really slowly. So I just overtake him and come into the pits. I've gone into the pits now, so I can't give the place back. So, bit of a loophole there, but we take the position. We're going on to a set of medium tyres here, and I'm going to turn this uh, into a two-stop race. So, on go the first set. A lot of cars here on the hard tyres because a lot of people with their sort of skill level start on either the, so uh, the soft or medium tyres. They're sort of forced to go onto the hards, whereas if you start on the hards, you've got more flexibility to use the softer tyres later in the race. But we're about to get racing once again here in Monza, and Jack Pem has had a really poor restart. He's That's miles super. off here, so we're already cutting to the inside here. We're going to try and clear the Haas, but just look how low his wings here. are. But he's using some uh, ERS to try and stay in front of us here. Down towards turn one we go. I'm using loads of ERS, but we're going to lunge down the inside. And that is a very nice move if we can stay in front. Yes, we just about squeeze him out on the exit. We're back up into P10. Just looking to pick off cars one by one here. Halfway through lap 10 at Lesmo 2. It's a poor exit for VRL PB Bob. Uh, certainly not a personal best position for him, but we're up one more. And Ooh. that's the main thing. Start of lap 11, we've closed up to the back of Josh Beatbox. But look, his teammate Remco, who started third, is slow. Coming off of the Curva Grande. The other Williams has to go on the grass. He defends. Right? Now no. we look to go to the outside. No. Now turning almost into the inside. We run over a little bit of gravel. So could be a problem in keeping Remco behind us. But we're up to eighth now. And Josh beatbox wide into the final corner. We have to lift off the throttle to try and not understeer into him. Jay Field in front of us has a three-second time penalty. Look at that straight line speed. I think they're trying to use zero zero wings or something very close to that. But that is just not what you want to do on this year's game. Possibly some moving under braking there from Josh beatbox. Again, this is not the worst of the driving standards you're going to see. So if you're still watching at this point, make sure you like and subscribe um, if you are wanting to see what happens a little bit later on because I got quite angry. Well, I'm not going to make you wait much longer, guys. Squeeze to the inside. He turns in far too early. Fucking d***. Honestly. <laughs> Brainless fucking d***. the lot of them. Now... 
I don't know what I could have done differently there. I felt like he turned in far too soon for the actual nature of the corner. But anyway, from 13th, we're trying to recover here. Down the inside of the Red Bull. Oh, fuck off! Oh. Two collisions in the space of a lap. What can you do? Honestly, when it's not your day, it's not your day. Oh, we get ahead of this Alpine. And that does give us a perfect opportunity to make our second right medium pit stop. So, again, it's not over. You know, still in the back of my mind, I'm thinking we can make a lot of positions here. We can, you know, just try and pick through these cars and see how high we can finish. On go the mediums then. That no, gives us a 10 well, to go restart. Who knows oh. what might unfold here. And then we go into the first corner. There were three cars off the track. Now, I'm going to show uh, you a different POV of this, which Pluto has kindly provided, but the championship leader is out. Well, I'm not fucking surprised that's a safety car. No, I'm not either. What the fuck is going on, guys? Fucking overtake me then! What the fuck is this? I can't believe this. This is outrageous. Yeah. Yes, I made a mistake on lap fucking three, whatever it was. Twenty five seconds on the Delta. We're going to stay out here. We are just going to take the track position because I'm not dealing with these idiots. Genuinely, I am lost for words at this point with just how bad these standards are. And, you know, I've raced in a lot of great leagues over the years, often with friends and you know, you get along, you gain that chemistry between everybody. But this, this is an open lobby standard. It's atrocious. Safety car restart number three then. There are now six laps to go and we are sitting fourth, net third with Jay Field's penalty. So, you know, just like that, said it wasn't going to be over. It is certainly not over until it is over. Here we go then with Jay Field looking to go around the outside of Tomo Frog. It makes a really late lunge for the race lead ahead of its skills. But look at this switchback from me. They've got caught up. They've tangled over each other. we well, tripped over each other, I should say, at turn two. And through we go on Jay Field, leaving us open now to a move on its skills. Who sorts of parks it in the middle of the track, then moves over. And... Maybe that's just my frustration. I, rear. I get hit in the rear as well by Jay Fields. Another block, which is absolutely fine Surely from its a skills. Surely comes down to the poor racing standards that are shown by the people who are best at this game. Now down the inside we go at Lesmo 2. It's okay to be a prick. I understeer <sighs> into it, him. The favorite driver I still. get overtaken by it's Jay so Fields. Stupid. Here comes Remco. Here comes Jay Field and its skills. We're still trying to go around the outside, but he's on the soft tyres. We have another snap coming through Ascari. And coming into the final corner now. Here comes Nepetal, the next car behind on the soft tyres. I've had another Fucking drift. <laughs> then I get on the marbles. I don't know what I'm blaming at this Fucking point. put my head through a wall at this point. This yep. is so bad. <laughs> at least so you're still in the race. I'm embarrassed so bad. listening to myself back genuinely embarrassed because I'm blaming things that don't exist but then for oh the actual incident fucking God! like that I have a genuine right to be frustrated I just thought I'd let you know this is awful and maybe staying out was a bad idea as here comes Frosty now around the outside at Ascari runs slightly wide but again come on so no way we can get through. Just more frustration. Four laps to go. Still a lot to play for, considering looking up the road now. Two by two into the first corner. They've all taken each other off. Oh, my fucking I get God. Honestly. Hit by the house. That's so stupid. 
was honestly, by the looks of it, just trying to make the same avoiding action that I was. We've crossed paths, we've taken each other with us, and that looks like race over. Safety cut. Whee! That was Remco and all. Oh no. Soft tyres. Soft tyres. Soft tyres. <laughs> oh soft my god. I don't need to show you all that. Just one lap we spent under safety car because the game does give you two laps to go, guaranteed, at the end of the race. So here we go then from 10th place. How many positions can we gain? And we've got a laggy Alpine to the left of uh, Moxisu. Oh, Pluto sneezing in the party, which... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got a drive through. You're on hards. Don't even think about it. Moving on to braking. What am I meant to do? Yeah, I thought I'd leave my live reaction in there for the first two corners because it's just an example of what we've been seeing for 26 laps straight. We've just got to break here and hope that we uh, stay in front of the Avatari, but he just goes straight <laughs> back through. Um, so we have a physical car now to overtake. Down towards Ascari, Dirt Joe still sat behind the Red Bull. Oh who, my God! Who has an equally as bad uh, run through there as the Alpha Tauri, and once again, I'm left pondering on just how I found myself here. Genuinely. Red Bull runs wide. Once going? again, three second time penalty to his name, as with Dirk Joe, who we just saw cut the how chicane at Ascari. Genuinely, he's used all of his deployment on that previous lap, which means he still has some in excess for this lap, which is making it really hard to overtake. But we lunge around the outside at turn one, down the inside at turn two. It's a clean move, ladies That's and overtake. gentlemen. And it's their time for one more on Derp Joe is down towards Ascari. We go late on the brakes. Bit of a corner cut, but we're allowed to sort of take that warning at this point. Does it look like I care? No, it doesn't. I'll leave the championship standings on the screen as we come round the final corner at Parabolica to round off what has been the worst race third. I've ever driven. It will be P3 as we cross the line due to penalties. And the championship standings looks a little bit different. Way, so obviously gained with way, Pluto not scoring. Way. I'm so happy. No, seriously, <laughs> really happy. All right, guys, 10 out of 10 take care. Honest. See you next time I'm for another League Racing video. Bye-bye.